Foggy. Alright, what's cracking everybody? Welcome back to the Contaminated Dungeon. It's the Fade the Public podcast with myself, Nicholas. Represent Big Dogs Gotta Eat, Fantasy Football. I have Animal over there, like really fucking concerned about the lights. Lights up, baby! We got Snikes. Snacks in the bike ground over here. He's looking real dark over there. I don't know if you can see him. And this is the Fade the Public podcast. Let's let's talk some some housekeeping. Top of the show. Just in a fantasy football and it brings up Will Chamberlain. The goat. So it happens. Sorry, right? gonna, gonna... This episode, we're gonna go through some housekeeping. We need a different name for housekeeping this too. What about uh? What is housekeeping? Like just news and note. Like very typical top. How about dungeon sweeping? Housekeeping, dungeon sweeping. Dinner sweeping. Dinner. What? Why Dennis sleeping? You get it. I don't get it. I know. cleaning, you get it. Okay, I get it. You right. You get it. Yeah, All right. You know we're, we're also going to get into the AAF. What's that stand for again? The Alliance of American Football. Uh, the American, American Alliance, Alliance of football. football. Okay, so we got a new football. Don't do that again. We got a new football <laughs> league out. And... We are fiends, and by we, I don't mean us three. I mean you fucking people. The American people are fiending for a football league four days after the Super Bowl is done, so they created the AAF. Uh, lo and behold, we watched it, and now we're going to start a fantasy football league. I was all Why about it. it. Why I'm, kind of all, I'm all about it. Just we're going to talk about just... yeah. We're going to talk about you know the ins and outs, what we liked, what we didn't like, the players. We're actually going to do a live draft of our fantasy teams tonight. It's us three. We got five of our subscribers. Since there's only eight teams in the AAF, the fantasy the fantasy teams created from them cannot be large. Thus, we only have eight people. So uh, after we go into the the, the Dinish sweeping, we are going to move into the into the mock draft. So I ask you if at any point you laugh at anything that's said, or if you just look over at snacks and you're like, oh my god, he's disgusting. Scroll down. <laughs> and hit the thumbs yeah, up I like that. I like for that. Um, I so, think I'm the prettiest fucking looking one here. It's the most debatable, debatable thing I've ever I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a goddamn vest. Someone sent me a... You want me to wear a vest? I'll put on a vest. Put on a vest. Put you won't put it over the animal shirt? It's disrespectful to your own kind. Someone actually DM'd me on Instagram today and sent me a, a guy who was wearing a black turtleneck and was like, he wants to be snacked so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll send it to you later. Okay, so it's February 11th. Yeah. Valentine's Day is coming up. Actually, if you're watching this, it's probably already Valentine's Day. Best. Uh, this is normally where, like, if you're a good podcast, you would have some kind of Valentine's Day sponsor telling you to buy some shitty flowers that you could buy for $24, yeah. and they'll deliver them for an extra $40 on Valentine's Day. We don't have that. I mean, the best we have is Fantasy Jocks. If you want to get your girl a ring, she'd probably ask him for a ring, right? Mm. You might say Fantasy Football Champion on it, but listen... You got, if you think your girl's a champion, it doesn't matter. She's got to be specific. That's it. She never specify what kind of ring. So head over to fantasyjocks.com. Use promo code TAKE10. Get 10% off your girl's engagement ring that says fantasy football champion <laughs> on it. Man, I'm fucking rolling right now. Yeah, you are rolling. So Valentine's Jesus. Day is today. Happy uh, ha happy Lover's Day to all you freaks out there. Is you got anything good planned? It's, what is it? How many fucking Valentine's Day you been with Christian for? This is uh, this is number four with Dr. Honey. Holy uh, shit. Yeah, wow. I know. It's been a while. Yeah. You should fucking get that fancy ring. Yeah, you yeah, should. Maybe. Get her a championship ring. <laughs> she'd, be, she'd be happy. Christian, free plug season. If anybody needs uh, dietary help. Whether losing weight, gaining weight, eating better, please follow follow Dietitian Casey. She's really, really good at her job. And I don't listen to any of her advice. I should. <laughs> but I'm lean, mean, and fucking sexy, so I don't listen to it. However, everybody else, I'm telling you, she's really goddamn good at her job. So if you need dietary help, lose weight, gain weight, whatever you okay, need. Okay, this Do is it. rolling way past the 30 second pre-roll. Your, your fucking money is like, season. you need to pay double. It was okay. free plug season. So Valentine's Day today, uh, actually the biggest holiday of this month is next week. Does anyone know what it is? My birthday. <clears throat> is it? March 26th. Well, uh, I meant this month, but next week. Did I say next week or next month? I don't know what you Whatever said. it is, it's, either way. The, the biggest holiday of February is coming up next week, next Friday. February 22nd. 420 is... No, 22. Um, 22. Two, 2 slash 22. Is it the combine? It's National Marg Day. Did you know National Margarita Day is every year on February 22nd? I didn't know that was a Every thing. fuck... Oh, dude. It, everywhere has $2 yeah. Mars. Go to fucking Miller's. $2.22 for Mars. I had like $4 Apple last boys? year. 22nd Apple Boys, Friday? they have like dollar marks year round. They're disgusting. I'm pretty sure Buster, <laughs> by the way, he quit his job a long time ago. Long he had ago. to have. 
after that night, he's like, I'm not serving you fucking cunts on, on when you're high at my tables anymore. We were so high. Uh, so, <laughs> we were so high. So, uh, Dinich sweeping, that's all I really had to talk about was the holidays. Do we want to talk Kareem Hunt right now? We should. We could a little bit, okay. yeah. So, I just, um, so I was just watching some stuff about it, actually. Yeah, you're you watching him kick that girl? No, no, not that stuff. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I was like his statements and uh, like John Dorsey's statements and all that stuff. Okay, well you'll break it down because I didn't watch those. So we have uh, you know, Karate Hunt signs with the Cleveland Browns today. <laughs> That's a good one. On a We're one rolling. a one year, one million dollar contract, I believe it's to be. The impact of this is tricky because you know Cream uh, Hunt came in Pro Bowler first year, rookie year, really led good. the league in rushing yards. Interestingly enough, Dorsey was in KC at the time. He was the one who like bought into Kareem Hunt his rookie year. Now Dorsey, John Dorsey is the GM of Cleveland, and he's the one who gives Kareem Hunt the second chance. Now, we don't know how long Kareem Hunt's going to be suspended that's for. The, that's the tricky part. Yeah, he's on the commissioner's exempt list as soon as you know that video surfaced. We don't know how long he's going to miss into 2019. The big question obviously becomes, what does that do for Nick Chubb? Because the more I'm looking at Nick Chubb, the more research I'm doing, the more I like him as like a first round pick next year. Obviously after this news, that makes me pull back a little bit. Um, Kareem Hunt, I know we had we had spoken about it. Like we put the over under, I think at like Nine, eight, I think eight, like eight and eight, a half. Seven, and we, it, that was definitely split between us. I said over, I thought the NFL was gonna make a statement mm -hmm. and be like, I don't care that you found a team that John Dorsey fucking believes in you. I think they give him eight, nine, 10 games. And, you I know, still think that's accurate, I, right? Because minimum, minimum, I'm saying minimum six games. With the video, man, that's it's like if if it's six games, the NFL is a real problem. That's what I'm saying. Like, how how can no they have way. the video? Evidence? It's going to be too much pushback from like an HR standpoint, right. media exactly. standpoint. Exactly. Exactly. I think the Browns did this on on sure, you know, sure due diligence. They get him back week eleven. Think of it like that. Yeah. You have a ten game suspension. That's what I think it should get minimum. I mean, that's me. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know the whole I rule. Can see that. I don't know what Roger Goodell does in New York. I have no idea. But if he doesn't get at least 10 games... I mean, there's also a that chance... System, that system's broke. I haven't seen anything about this, but there's also a chance he just lets him sit on the exempt list all fucking year. That's true, AP too. Missed he the might, entire he year. might sit the whole year. Yeah, you're you right. You know what I mean? You're right. I didn't even think of that. I didn't think about it until now, but, like, I don't know. Goodell can do whatever the fuck he wants. From a fantasy, stand, from a fantasy standpoint, you brought up Nick Chubb. And, I mean, that would be a brown thing. That uh, would, like, yeah. yeah of course. Sign him, sign, sign him, him, get pumped up about him. Yeah, that, never that, that's, like, that's like reverting back to the Browns. But like, we talked about this a few weeks ago, and my 12th round pick is Nick Chubb. That, that's my keeper. That's who it is. So obviously when I saw it Still today, keep him. of course I'm going to keep him. Keep him. Of course yeah. I'm gonna, I, I, to be honest, I, you know what? I'm more on, on Nick's side. I feel like there's a strong chance he, Kareem Hunt does not play this year. Yeah. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to impact Chubb's ADP enough to where like he's going to be a good value. He'll drop. Yeah. yeah. So in our town get down league, right? You can keep any player the following year. One player, but they have to be drafted in the tenth round or later, is as Nick Chubb, and he can keep them. You'll lose your ninth round pick next year. No, I'll, I think I'll lose my eleventh. You'll lose your eleventh round 12, pick yeah. next year, and he'll be able to keep Nick Chubb. It's and Nick from Chubb what I've seen in in the mock drafts I've done and like the the drafts on on Draft.com. He's pretty much around like the eight to ten spot in almost every draft. Which is pretty good value. So the the question, yeah, <laughs> with, the question with Kareem Hunt is now like, if he comes back in week ten, like, what's his role? That's see that that's could, the million. It could be that's the million dollar question. Get, taking away carries from Chubb. Chubb, you know, could be banged up. I don't they think he takes carries should, away so much. Carries. I think the receiving aspect of it is really gonna just you, you fucking move Duke Johnson to the slot. Let Kareem Hunt just take let the pass Duke Johnson out. go for real. I for mean, real. I'm sorry. This is only so many like years you can peg him right, for a fucking exactly. breakout. I like Duke, but like Kareem Hunt is Duke Johnson on fucking steroids. Yeah. Yeah. Like much better. Okay, so where are you like? Where are you comfortable? Where were you comfortable taking Chubb prior to the Hunt news? Where are you okay taking him now? Because if if Hunt comes back and starts, even if he's getting eight to ten carries a game, that's like I don't think it moves the needle much for me at all, just because really? of the suspension. You, the the main chunk of your fantasy season, Chubb will be there. Yeah. You know, barring injury or anything, he's going to be the guy. Right. I don't see Kareem Hunt coming back anytime before like week eight. Yeah. I, so. You're still going to need Chubb. He's still going to give you a good, right. good production right. for yeah, those eight, ten weeks. Right, but I mean, everyone knows that. Obviously, like getting the first half of the year is great, but like if if Hunt eats into Chubb's workload in the second half, that makes his value uh, in, the in, the in the most important part, part of the fantasy season. season. Yeah. Right. Whereas he was a first round pick, I think he drops to like a late second, 
Maybe well, early I, I would have said I would have said late first, early second, regardless of this hunt signing. So, with this hunt signing, you mean before the hunt signing? Uh, I'm sorry, before the hunt signing. Yes, right. Okay. yes, right. I would have put him late first, early second, and I, I mean, they, they, Nick Chubb was really goddamn good. Yeah, I mean, the way I look at it is, how many other running backs now are you thinking would actually would you take in, instead of Chubb now? Who would you bump in front okay. of him now? So Mixon was a guy I had. One spot after Chubb, I would now take Mixon, Mixon above okay. Chubb. Uh, after that, you're right. Maybe I would still take Chubb right yeah, after that really because no it's like else. it's like David Johnson, the Dalvin Cooks, and it's like those guys aren't those don't do it for me. They, I still they don't give me a Chubb. I, yeah, I think Dalvin yeah, Cook just as a, just as much of a risk. He could get hurt. He mm-hmm. might not, you know, have all the well, carries. The also the other thing to consider is you know Nick Chubb became the starter around the same time Freddie Kitchens took over play calling there. Yeah. So Freddie he Kitchens obviously Freddie knows Kitchens what he has there, mm-hmm. right? And he was the one giving him 20 touches a game. He knows Nick Chubb's a freak, freak athlete. Like, beast. Yeah, the way he tested at the, at, yeah. at the combine off the charts. So. We're not going to really know until we find out the number of games. No, I mean, his, exactly. His value, as of right now, I don't think it can slide We can speculate all we want, picks. but it's not. Mm-hmm. No. It's not. I, I'm still, I'm confidently taking Nick Chubb, even if... He won't be my first round pick, though. Dra- all, right, all right, but draft strategically. Draft strategically. If you take Nick Chubb, realize what's coming after. If you're drafting before the Kareem Hunt suspension comes out, maybe you take Hunt and later on. Mm-hmm. Maybe you take Nick Chubb, whatever you take. Have a backup plan. Don't just go in an assumption, oh, Nick Chubb, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. He's really good, yes, and Freddie Kitchen loves him. However, just make sure you know Kareem Hunt is waiting in the window somewhere. Yeah. That he's pisses just too, me off. He's to too no, good. It pisses me off to no end. You know what's funny? Because I, still don't think I feel plays. like no one's actually going to be mad about them signing him because they're the Browns. I feel like they're the team yeah. no one can get mad that at. It was right the now. perfect team to do. You know what I mean? Like any other team, team, I think it's great for them. People would have been pissed at. He's so he's young. Even if even if he doesn't play this year, you have a fresh, healthy Cream Hunt for the next season. Yeah, that's the interesting part, though. That yeah. that's a weird part. It's a one-year contract, like worth one million dollars. Right. Up to I think it's like with incentives. Okay, one gotta, like, play. million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> million. Uh, am I wait, Am I the only one like Cream Hunt is a good running back, right? Yeah. It wasn't just a product of Andy Reid, was it? No. I mean, it, that amplified it, but no, I think Kareem Hunt's a very, very I agree. good runner. I agree. Listen, I completely agree. I was just... And he's, he's going to be really young when he gets off this. So that's another like player that will like 20. probably get a fat contract if he can if he could show something this year. That he can like be around a team and not get in trouble for a full year. Not get in trouble, show he rehabili- rehabil- rehabilitated himself. Mm-hmm. Good word. I tried. It took, I, him, honestly, it took him like four tries. I'm, Rehabilitates himself. Shows it on the field, he's gonna get a fat contract somewhere. Yeah, he's gonna. I got. It's gonna be a stupid fucking team like the Raiders that that just takes him. I know. I gotta say, I'm so fucking happy that the playoffs are done because I had chosen the Patriots to lose the last two weeks, so I wasn't able to wear this, and now I can now fucking can. wear this for like every episode going forward. Fucking pumped up. All right, yeah. I think we're ready to dive into to the AAF draft. Now. Ready to draft my <laughs> winning team. <laughs> All right. So full disclosure. Um, we don't know anything. Yeah, <laughs> this is just going to be a good time. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make us miniature and put us in the bottom right of the screen, and y'all will watch the full content of our of our teams. Let's let's hit the group up. So we got eight people in here. I got to go to the draft, and we are going to mess around with the order randomizer. Uh, QB wide receiver running back tight end flex flex. Is that right? By the way, QB wide receiver, tight end, running back, flex, flex. By the no way, if you're, if you're Christian Hackenberg, no defense. Fuck no. If you're Christian Hackenberg, do you mm-hmm. like? I love defense. Do you mm-hmm. like just, just stop? Dude, I, who's the other quarterback for? Did you see him? Yeah. Uh, he's he's a perfect instance of people like, of, uh, of just not being. He was never. There was never a time where he was good at football. Right? Never. And people keep looking at him and being like, "But he's got the tools." But yeah, I understand. Yeah, that, that one like, he, was Ryan, he was drafted. He was drafted second. Round Trans. by the New York Jets. That's, Does that say a lot? Dude, that's unbelievable. That's, uh, that, that general manager who drafted him in the second round is still there today. Beast. He didn't get Darnold. No, he didn't get Darnold. He made the trade Darnold with the Colts. Darnold fell to him. Because of the trade with the Colts. No, the because the Giants didn't take him. Idiot. You ask, if Chal- you ask if Childish Gambino was white last night. Yeah, Do you not? Hold on, hold on, time out. Hold on, this is an important yeah. thing. Did you not understand where I was coming from? I understood, yeah. but for you, Good. what's you got it? Yeah. How'd you do it? I went to draftordergenerator.com. Team two is the first pick. It's fucking bullshit. Who's that? Probably you. <laughs> 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 you 
fucking motherfucker. You ain't getting trained. Hold on one sec. Uh, team two. I feel like you're lying. I swear, I did All this right, right. Whatever, go. Who's team next? five is the second pick. Okay. Go. Team six. Mm -hmm. Team one. Oh, fuck yeah. Team three. Where am I? Yar, you're five. Team seven. Why am I the fifth? Mm -hmm. Team four. Mm -hmm. And team eight. All right. So, uh, let, let the twatters know. Are we doing, we're doing the same thing, half point PPR, right? All that shit. For anyone listening via podcast, y'all should probably just fucking come onto YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we're making a fool of ourselves. I don't know, that first segment was really good. Okay, we're good. We got the draft order set. We got Maxi Animal, Trev's Trickster South, Central Louisiana State University, Mud Dogs, Nick underscore BDG, hurt, hurt, hurt. Nicky Snacks, Big Baller, Danny Last 21, and FTP. Jared. We represent Jared. Wait, is that Fat Bastard with, with, with the guy? Yeah, I'm not sure what team name he is. Oh, he's amazing. I love that guy. One of my biggest yeah, supporters. Why is Trent so him. low on him? Him and Danny. Him and Danny, my two favorite people. My only All right, two so Max the Animals is on the, uh, is on the board. So, with the number one overall pick, it's very easy for me. <laughs> Trent Richardson. Everybody. <laughs> guy had two touchdowns last week. Two. Actually, this weekend. No, that's that's 12 fantasy points we're off the Dude. bat if you're going from the goal line. That's it. That's all I want. I want touchdowns. You went T-Rich? I went T-Rich. I said Fred. Did you, dra did you draft him? Yeah, he's on my team. Oh, it didn't like... Trev's Tricksters. Th this website, the I think like the back end of it is horrible. Like It, it says didn't... round one, Trev's Tricksters is on the clock. Yeah, no, it doesn't uh, update on mine. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I probably have to refresh it for it to update. Yeah. What there we I... go. With the first overall pick... Max the Animal directed Trent Richardson. Can we get some, some analysis on T-Raw? T-Raw, bro? Uh, former first round pick from the uh, <laughs> Cleveland Browns. He's the first player in the history of football world to be a uh, former NFL first round pick and an AAF fade the public That's first right. round pick. What a god. And uh, I'm, I don't have his uh, 12 for 58, 23 for 58. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, where can we find box scores on these players? ALTFantasySports.com. Yeah, if anyone's looking to start a fantasy league with AAF, ALTFantasySports.com. Jesus, mother fudging. Shut Christmas. up. Shut up! Oh my god. 58 yards on 23 carries and two touchdowns. That's so bad! How is he so inefficient? My first overall pick. 23 for 58? He had two touchdowns! 23 for 58? Yeah, it's not good. That's... He, he started off with um, it's good not so good, uh, 8 for 17 and a fumble. I can so. guarantee you he had no receptions, right? Um, <laughs> I think that's a strong... That's that's a strong suggestion. Yeah, that's not to say that Richardson didn't have flashes of strong play. Richardson was never much of a pass catcher in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Max had, Animal has the one on one, and he fucking doesn't pick a three down back. What a fucking loser! I want the guy that's getting the goal line carries and the touchdowns no, in a league that doesn't fucking score points. Unbelievable. I know. Yeah. By the way, bet the unders. Oh, yeah, the uh, South Central Louisiana State University Mud Dogs on the clock. Trev's tricks. Drafted Garrett Gilbert. That was my next pick. You're gonna take a QB? He's you know, smart. It's a QB league. That's a good pick. I was a, gonna. I almost took him first. I don't know. Wait. Okay. Where is he? Had it? like 27 fantasy points. What? Yeah. But who? How did the next quarterback do? I'm not telling you. This is. Uh, where do I find uh, all the players? Where the fuck am I? Play. Oh, I think I'm good. Damn, that's a good pick. I hit. I hit enter draft. That's where I am. It's a good pick, Trev. Yeah. Oh, I just found. I just found the winner of the league. I just found the number one pick right now. Oh, I'm not up. Fuck. Yeah, you're in. Yeah, but where does it say your pick? Bottom right. Go down. Scroll down. Updates. Updates. You gotta keep refreshing it. I think. I go fuck yourself. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is the greatest thing we've ever done. By the way. Nick BDG is on the clock. Fuck yeah. Who do you go with? He took uh, John Wolford. Damn it! Yes. You guys are fools. You guys are fools. You don't know what you're doing. No, that's, that's who smart. you took. The number smart. one overall pick in this draft should be the guy I'm about to take. They're smart. They're taking the good quarterbacks. Oh. So there's like three in the league. <laughs> Where are you? Where's my man? I looked him up. This is the guy I thought I was going to take. Then I went to Fantasy Pros, and he was number one in the top five picks. Let's fucking go. <laughs> this is so sick. <laughs> I love it. And with the number one pick for Big Dogs, we are going to go with Jarrell Presley. That man was moving yesterday. It's a good pick. I have him on my board. My second my second running back. So this now, is the uh, If Animal had him on his board, he's a good pick. Who is the Atlanta team? That's who I just took. Atlanta. Isn't that Mike Arizona. Singletary? Arizona. Arizona. Uh, Arizona Hot Shots. So I'm on player profile right now looking at uh Jarrell Presley's numbers. 
The guy ran a 4.45, 79th percentile speed score, good agility, and 89th percentile spark guy. Uh, 7.8 yards per carry in college. The guy puts up good numbers in college, man. I'm ready. I'm ready for him to fucking roll. I, I, honestly, I think I already won the draft. I think this is a fucking lock of the century. Give Orford off the board. Love this. This is fucking. I'm, I'm really upset that the, they they Did took I take the him? two quarterbacks. Did it work? Um, let me see. I thought I hit pick. I don't know if it like went through. No, you're still on the clock, bro. It what? says round one, Nick BDG. I'm clicking. I clicked picking. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, you're on the clock. Snacks. Huge. Huge. Everyone knows that. I want to look at box scores of this fucking. Well, I'm pissed off. Shut up, please. Right. I'm trying to make my selection. I got the two best quarterbacks already. Shut up! Dude, big board quarterbacks are still all the way down. I don't want a quarterback. This is fantasy. Yeah, late round quarterbacks. Unless your name's Eli. I don't know. Why is that kicker? Is it four? I don't even Why know. is the kicker the six rank fucking player? Dude, kid, it's a kicking league. We don't play kickers. There's no kickers. No starting kickers. Unless you can flex a kicker. I also don't know the scoring rules. All right. Can I flex a kicker? I don't know. Well, I would flex two kickers. All right. <laughs> I have my pick. It's safer than most of the players in this league. I have my yeah, pick. Just what? Make it. What? Dearness Johnson for Nikki Snacks. Oh, there's one guy I want so bad. Dearness Johnson is a running back, <laughs> and he. This is a terrible I, wa I, wa I watched him on Channel 2. <laughs> I was looking at it. I watched him on Channel 2. The guy has some burst. He has some speed. He has 3.7 yards after contact in his first game. I think he has the tools. Ernest Johnson, welcome. Ernest Johnson? How old is D he? D Ernest Johnson. Oh, <laughs> put the D in there. That changes into the dynamic. Welcome to the, 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 the Snacks dynamic. Incorporated, baby. You got any wine? You got any more of that wine? Or you only have little fucking shooters? Oh, do I still have margarine material here? Yeah, you got like have your whole kittens here. Oh, oh bro. Go in the, uh, I'll be right back. the kitchen. Bro, I'll be right back. Bro, we, right. We, big we, ball we, is we on the drink. Clock. So, what do you think? D Ernest Johnson, what do you think? Dude, I don't even know who that guy is. I don't, I don't either, either, but I looked at his stats. It looks good. He looks real good. I'm already regretting taking Trent Richardson first. You want to trade? No. I want to trade for... I'll take Trent. Let's trade. I would... No. I would... I'll give you Dearness Johnson and my third round pick for... I want to trade Richardson. Trent Richardson for Garrett Gilbert. Trev, let's make a trade. Let's, let's, let's work something out. Trevor's tricksters. He's got. No, no, no. You're on drugs. Garrett Gilbert threw. You're on drugs. You're on drugs. You're trying to make nonsensical trades that don't make any sense for me, and I'm not doing it. I love making trades in fantasy. I'm all about making trades. Yeah, I know you are. You lost a second round pick for a non playoff team. Yeah. You're fucked. That sucks. Who was that Luis guy yesterday? Yo, Luis Perez. He was good. He, he was real it, good. Yeah. He slings it. No, there's a couple of guys in here that, like, dude, Ryan Mallett is on the Memphis Express. You see Zach Stacy? Yeah. <laughs> he was in Taj the NFL. Boyd. He's not on a team, actually. He was in the NFL. Yeah. No, I know. It's interesting. I, I, I For what it is, I, I've liked it so far. So I Because I, I didn't have big there expectations hasn't been, going there into There hasn't it. been, like, good football. Yeah. Like, no, not, not the, competitive football, uh, right? Although that last game. But I tell you, it's not bad. The, the it's, game. It's not the arena. It's not the XFL. It's it, it's decent. The game last night. The solo, um, Nikki. Solo, baby. The Salt Lake Stallions versus the Arizona Hot Shots was a good game. It was, high, it was like 38 20 something. It was a good game. Did you bet the over? I didn't bet it. You know what I did though? I did bet on Phil Mickelson to win the uh, Pebble AT and T. Fuck Phil Mickelson. He won. He's a pussy. Okay. Phil Mickelson. Will never, ever, is big, ever is big be baller Tiger Woods. In here? Big baller? He's still on the clock. Who's Who be big baller? Where you at, dog? Sorry for this random fucking obscure Mexican here. Um, here's the problem. I would like this to go a little faster, big baller. All right, let's call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, after the first weekend, this is what I saw. And this is why I imagined... I would see, right? They didn't differentiate the product enough, in my opinion, for it to be a long-lasting product. It's very much like the NFL. They made a couple little tweaks, mm -hmm. right? They, they definitely put a, a few things in there that are that are cool, that are going to make people be like, yeah, fuck the NFL, bro. Mm -hmm. cool. like the NFL should adopt that. Yeah, but it's yeah, not yeah. a long-lasting thing, right? Like, all of the big hits I see that they're like, 
taking fucking quarterback heads off of. This is what everyone has fought for in the NFL to help the player safety and have them like, oh, yeah, we want the big hits now. That shit's not going to last, right? And uh, a lot of this stuff is just short wins. And uh, yeah. eventually it's just going to be a worse product to be in the NFL. It gives us our fix. And I tell you, after week one, it's only going to get worse. Mm-hmm. It's only going to get worse. Who is scheduling their Saturday and Sunday around the AAF? Well, yeah, you're not. But, they I mean, if I'm home and it's on. And they should have done it Tuesday and Wednesday. If I'm home and it's on, I'm watching it. What the fuck do you watch on Tuesday and Wednesday? I watch SmackDown, but that's First not. of all, Wednesday, the mass Singer is on, so watch your mouth. What I do like about it, though, is watch your mouth. only 14 okay. or 18. 18s, yeah. So it is, easy to, uh, it is easy to follow along, and it's a lot of players that you probably already know. Right. Mm-hmm. I just, it's fun. It's exciting. It so it's, fun. it's just. It's football. Exactly. Exactly. It's football. And I think it's going to get better. I think the gameplay will get better. I think one. Yeah, I think it's going to get better. I think it's just going to. The ratings are going to fall off. Like people are going to be like, "Oh, this is cool." And they're all. They're all. What well, you know? What their biggest problem? Here, March Madness is coming up. March Madness is coming up. Yeah. It's going. It's going to drift someone, away. It's going to drift out, away. Someone tweeted out this popular tweet and was like, "Yeah, it had better ratings than like NBA and whatever." And it's like, dude. Yeah, for for the first weekend, of course, it's going it's to. Like a random Exactly. Who the fuck cares about OKC in Houston in February? It was a really good game. Yeah, it was a good game. Listen, the Knicks are ready. Would you rather watch a New Star Football League or big OKC? Big baller. We're making the pick for you. Let's make the pick, son. Let's make a let's make a, a group decision, son. Josh Stewart looks good. I'm just gonna go by. All, just give him Sam Mobley. He's the top guy. Top guy. For all. Yeah. I told him what time he needs to be here. I'm going to give him... Uh, <laughs> fucking That's true. We we Justin, said what time he got to be there. Justin Stockton. Jo- he's not that bad, Stockton. Really? Yeah, he's, he's a good backup. How the fuck do you know who that is? I watch the games. It's so did I. <clears throat> well, you listen. You don't want fucking backup over the person you trust, though. Justin Stockton. Welcome to the big baller brand. I'll tell you what. People need to get some big baller brands. Yo, I'm a fan. It's so ridiculous that it's swagging. It's like fifty dollars a T-shirt, but whatever. Dude, I was gonna ask for it for fifty. I'm pretty sure they're like one hundred and fifty dollars for a sweatshirt. Danny Lads on the clock. Danny Lads, you little bitch. By the way, uh, Birmingham Iron. That's our team, right? I guess so. Yeah, that's our team. That's our so. team. You know what? After hearing his numbers, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Andre, well, you should. You should have been on the Atlanta side, no matter what, just for. Yeah, I was surprised you know, about cause that. Because the Falcons, Atlanta Legends, first of all, is a badass name. Uniforms are pretty sweet. I, I like everything about them other than the fact that, you know, they weren't very good playing football. But Yeah, that's, yeah I don't want to. If I'm going to choose my team now, I'm not losing it to the team that won it. Dude, the t- didn't get fucking take, yeah, take the hot shots. I think they're the, the best team. when you were up 23. The hot shots or the Apollos. Well, I'm just saying, you're, you're a Falcons fan. The Falcons lost to the Patriots when they were up 28-3. I don't mean it like disrespectful. I'm just okay, saying. You meant it respectfully. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's look, uh, you let's made it to the big game. That's terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> this is a badass brand. The AF could be bonkers. I'm trying to distinguish after a strong start. The hot shot price in the game is fifteen. Who's the hot shot? What team is that? Arizona. Is that me? You know way too much about this, Mac. What do you mean? Is that ja- you? FTP Jared's up. Jared's up. Oh, I don't know what team he's on. All right, all right. Let's talk other stuff. We'll yeah, yeah, l- l- literally, please. Yeah. So, I mean, like the the difference, I just like the, the pace of play. The games were going pretty fast. There was – And there was – yeah, penalties no are like non-existent. Either. It was great, unless it was like blatantly oh, obvious. Oh, 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 oh. Let, let's talk about the biggest thing. When they had a review, they let you listen in to the review guy mm-hmm. in the booth. Yeah. Calling the thing. Well, cause, How does the NFL not adapt that? They can't <laughs> you're you right. Go. You're right. Yeah. They it don't have be, enough gamblers to fucking gamble on this yet. Yeah. It'll soon enough. It'll it will be. Can you gamble? You can get people on there, right? Oh, the yeah, lines have been yeah, out. Yeah, already. absolutely. Yeah. Did, you, did you play any daily? No, I stayed away. I stayed away. I, you can't gamble on something that you know nothing about yet. That's not true. Did, That's what you gamble most props, about. Player props are, are semi easy. Just what I know. I didn't look. I didn't research enough, but I bet if I look at. Do they have player props though? I don't know. I'm sure some well, some I mean, books do. Semi like player props. If you can call, True. You know, if you can True. Call, like, a bad guy doing well, yeah. Probably, you know. It's a good point. Um, but I didn't play, but yeah, I mean, 
Who else did I see? I mean, the offensive line was fucking atrocious. All the defenses that, looked really good. See, that's the thing. I, you know what? That's actually a great point you brought. D- the offensive lines are all atrocious. Why do you think so many teams in the NFL today struggle with getting offensive line talent? There isn't offensive line talent out there. Yeah. There's not. And you can only rush five too, which makes it funnier. Right, and they were getting the and the, and the offensive yeah. line was getting blown away. Like there's Perez. no shot. Took Perez. It's huh? bad. It's bad. Fucker. I will say though, no matter what, no matter what, I enjoy the AF, but. I can't wait to the XFL. Oh, damn. FTP Jarrett is going to have a nasty team. Akeem Hunt, too? It's a good pick. It's a good pick. Please. XFL? Oh, it's going to put it in like my fucking bio. You know what they're going to do? They're going to they're gonna like just look at all the things that AF did wrong. Yeah. And well, the XFL failed miserably the first time. Miserably. Miserably. Just because I feel like the NFL didn't have enough popularity. The social media also wasn't around, so the buzz... Fair. If there's ever gonna be a time where it could eat, it's probably gonna be now. Just so the assholes like us that will go into the We'll do we'll do whatever it takes. Whatever right. It takes. Content, 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 content. I wish they made a team of WWF fucking wrestlers. Could you imagine Triple H owning a fucking team? It's, so cool. it, it's like fucking uh what's the name of your Hunter quarterback in the US? Fucking Longest Yard. Longest Yard. It's like that older one, but it's like Damn, dude. I, you know what's you know you know what's funny you're, you're saying that now I was sitting on the train today I was going back to Sea Caucus and uh, from New York Penn to Sea Caucus Junction in New Jersey and I was I was YouTubing Stone Cold Returns and like I saw you like in your commute and I looked over at your phone and you were just like watching <laughs> I was crying <laughs> I was crying like nobody understand imagine walking out to like thirty thousand people or ninety thousand people. Just going nuts for you. Like, Stone Cold Steve Austin is by far the greatest athlete of all time. It's debatable. No, it's really not debatable. Yeah, in what world do you live in where Steve Austin is the greatest? Who gets more the, hype than the Stone Cold? World. He's the GOAT. Who's better than him? Yeah, in his own profession, first of all, tell me. His own profession? No, he's the best. Does anyone know where we could find the scores of the first two teams? Like, they're not... Uh, I got the no. app. A A E F. There's A-A-A-F. there's an app. Yeah, we ha- we have to download. Oh. The Alliance of American Football. Whoever's app. drafting with us, please download the app. Danny Ladd on the clock. Uh, uh, check marks. You can't file for it anymore. No, it's really hard. You, they probably they just don't want to show it to people. Yeah. Them. I think realistically, what they do is like they only give them to you if you could prove that someone really kind of insulted my team. So it wasn't even like a follow or something. Because like next summer, I'll probably get around like five to eight thousand followers on Twitter. It'll probably double in the first by the time I give them like one of those little blue check marks, even though I don't show them. I just really want to know. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, really, just to verify that it's really you. It's really the whole point. And if if it's you, oh yeah. Danny lads, what are you doing over we here, buddy? X- XFL. That's what we got. No, they got like twelve thousand in the stadium. I loved how there was already diehard fans. There's like guys already holding up like signs and stuff like commanders, like never even seen the team play. And I'm sure New Orleans up. wants the team. What's the Arizona team name? The Hot Shots? Hot Shots. Yeah, that, that's not them. That's not Taco Sam. No, I thought they're, we were going They're going to win it all this year. No, no, I said I'm He's out. Here. You're out. He's out. Oh, I'm in. That's fine. I'm all in on Trent. It's only a matter of time until Trent Walker. I wanted to be I a will, realize 2.2 yards per carry. I'm I, will still, fo- I will follow Trent Richardson <laughs> into the gates of hell. I'm still deciding. <laughs> I might be a Stallions fan. Well, I'm with Trent. Because I feel like the, the Stallions and the Broncos, those go together. So, you know. You pick the Chargers. You're a fraud. Okay, I picked them to win a game. My next pick is going to be another Arizona player. I know who I want. Nikki Snacks team is on the clock. Am I? Good job. Wait, yes, sir. Are we in we're in the second round. Yeah. Made a second pick. Quentin Patton. All right, so so far. Quentin Patton. Patton. Great pick. Trent Richardson. Garrett Gilbert. John Walford. Dearness Johnson. Terrell 
Presley, usually about to take a draft of four. Dennis Johnson, Johnson Stockton, Mikhail McKay. That's a great name. Luis Perez, Akeem Hunt, Joel Wagnon, Quentin Patton. Okay, so I know about two names. I am taking Sam Mobley. Good pick. Fuck is that? I have no idea. <laughs> From the Salt Lake something. Oh, yeah, so it's bad. Brutal. It's, brutal. it's brutal. Nick BDG is on the clock. Oh, I am? Yeah. Oh! Don't take my guy. I have a wide receiver one three. and a RB one. I, gotta make I don't think picks. I could be beat. I got to make it three picks here to get my guy. Shit. Very nervous. Who are you taking? No, just take him. Who is it? Oh, I'm nervous. I want to win. I'm regretting taking Trent Richardson. That was a, that was a glory pick. That was. No, I know. No one else would have done that other than him. Maybe you would have taken Trent first overall, right? I would have too. I would have uh, not yeah. even flinched. All right, let's do it. Uh, who'd you take? Fuck you. He's going to make it to the NFL. Yeah, he's going to make it back. Yeah. Listen, he's, he's, it's my number one wide receiver on my board, Rashad Ross. And yeah, I have a, yeah, I have a board. Time this season is over, it's ten weeks regular season, right? And then two weeks of playoffs. Obviously, Rashad Ross is in really soon with the playoffs. Mm-hmm, for sure. Twelve weeks later, that's three months down the road. What is that? February, March. Oh, Travis February. Trickster's on the clock. June. Okay. Yeah, which May. May. Yeah, yeah. You're in OTAs by that time. So if you're a player that does well in the AAF, an NFL team wants to sign you. You're expected to play football for one straight year, right? You have no rest. You have no rest. Nothing. That's it. You go right in. Well, that I I feel I thought going into this, that's the whole thing. It's like the NBA's G League. You know what I mean? Like yeah, the AAF, I, but football's such a different sport. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you, you it's not you can't you can't you can't work your ass off for six months preparing for the AAF and then get a contract with the NFL and go right in. Yeah, I, I mean, no one was preparing for the AAF. I guess they were probably no, you, no the but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You think can the NFL sign players like mid-season AF? You think and like they'll leave their team? They should. I'm sure they would. Yeah, that's the whole if point. If not, then this league is... Like you don't sign players like now. If, this, if not, this league is so. stupid. No offense. Like, they're supposed to get guys that but, are... But they have their contracts, right? You said... Uh, do you, what, what was the contract for? They all get paid it's the a same. It's three-year, 250000 Okay, but... So they all non-guaranteed. Get paid the same. But for an, non-guaranteed. But for an NFL player, you still have to make a lot... You have to get through... Like, you have to get all the way through all this. So if you were to leave right. the AF now to go play with the team, you're risking a lot of money. Right, no, and I For the year, agree. it's like 83 I completely grand. agree, but... Oh, oh, it's, it's not It's three-year, 250000 uh, Not a year, yeah, no. You're on the clock, by it's the like way. It's like 83 grand. It's like mid-management New York City. Well, see, management. see, that's what annoys me about the AAF. Well, it's about I, opportunity, I love though. It. It's it. football. I really think ha- not having special teams around is like Jaylen a Marshall detriment off to, the these board. Co- to these guys that were playing. Am fucking I wrong? Fucking right, it is. Say that again. I'm saying. Listening to the yeah. Well, you know what? Let's go. I'm a two-time <laughs> Super Bowl champion, so you better stop fucking listening. To me. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Josh Woodrum. What a steal. Special a teams pick. is the easiest way for someone. Look at Vince Papali. He was a walk-on. He made special teams with the Philadelphia Eagles. Scum. They're scum. I'm ta- yeah again yeah like why don't they have that? That's how people make it. Yeah. They all Bill Polian was talking about we want this league to be for players to try and make it again in the NFL. No, okay, that's no great. But have special teams. Team. No, I understand that, but you could still have guys. Special teams is a big part of the game. Right, but, I'm, but here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. The the guys who end up on special teams in the NFL, they're drafted to that NFL team. Because they played well at their positions in college. Mm-hmm. So it's the same thing from the AAF. 
You know what I mean? Okay, like, right. If they're playing really well at linebacker in the AAF, and then you draft them to play special teams, it's the same thing. No, I, I don't disagree at all. I'm saying there's there's gunners on each team. Michael Thomas, for I'll, I'll use the Giants for an example right now, obviously. Michael Thomas. No. No, I'm heated. I'm heated. A couple Michael Thomas on the Giants was signed to be a special teams player. He was, by far and away, the best special teams player. He was a gunner, punt return, kick return, everything. He went down, made the tackles. That's a big aspect of the NFL. Terrell Davis got his chance on special teams. Okay, exact. that's exactly what I'm saying. But he was drafted as a running back. They said, all right, hey, listen, we don't have a spot for you right now. Okay, but why? Go hit somebody on special teams. My only point is why this league should have special teams because that's the easiest way for players yeah. to make it back. That's here's, all I'm here's, saying. Here's the thing. The AAF, I don't, I don't think, I don't know what the goal of the AAF is. If they're trying to be a business on their own. Okay, but fair, it could it, be. But if they went into it saying, yeah, we're going to be a development league for the NFL, that would make sense. But I don't think that's their thing. Clearly it isn't not, because not, that, that's looking what looking it would be. NFL. Right, not, right, right. So that does make sense. Like, I, I totally get what you're saying. But I think they're just like, let's cut out all the shit that, like, the NFL doesn't really need. That the know? fans don't care yeah, about seeing. Right, right. Well, honestly, what they should have done is made fantasy a, a semi-portion of it. They like, didn't at the all. Uh, they mm. didn't do that at all. Yeah. Problem is, you can't. You don't know who, yeah. who is what yet. Like you don't know if they're gonna be rotating quarterbacks. Like it's supposed to be a league of opportunity. So are they gonna like let? Like they have four quarterbacks on the team. Are they gonna let all of them yeah. play like a game? That, like that's why I'm like, what's you know, the goal of this? Because if you're a team, like, is your goal even like let's win, or is it like let's do the most entertaining? Like what are you? What are you yeah. I feel like but the coaches want to win. You have, have like big name yeah. coaches. Yeah. Mike Martz won a. Uh, he Dude, I can't believe he's Super a coach Bowl. in this league. Mike Singletary. Mike Martz can't coach in this league. He's, he's ridiculous. It's Mike Singletary, Mr. Buno, says to this day that the only reason the San Francisco 49ers, after they fired Mike Singletary, he's the only thing that he says is the reason that San, San Francisco 49ers team was good was Mike Singletary instilled toughness. <laughs> That's the only reason. On the so, clock. I'm on, the, I'm on OTC. OTC. I'm on the Brock Osweiler. Over that? the counter. But Jim New, Newheisel, Mike Singletary. Should I take a quarterback? I'm not sure. I would take a quarterback because there's not going to be many left. Yeah, that's not going to be much either. Cool. Good idea. I wonder if we could flex quarterbacks. I don't have no idea what's going on with this, this league. So can you check? Because I can't. It won't let me go to other records. Now. So this will be a fan vote right now. Those are going to be sick. There's classic fantasy, yeah, and then guillotine. Oh, classic does, fantasy. Does it have scoring play? It does not say anything about scoring. I'm assuming it's just standard scoring, like four point passing touchdowns. Uh, you know, six point, uh, you know, rushing receiving touchdowns. That's what I'm assuming. But right now, I'm already calling it Orlando Apollos versus the Arizona Hotshots for the championship. I actually don't know how the brackets work and everything like that. But Hot Shots are going to be in. It's probably the top four teams make the playoffs. Makes There's sense. There's only eight. That would make sense. Because it's two weeks. Before. Two weeks, yeah. Ten weeks, right? I have the league leading rusher and receiver. I mean, they're fucking crazy. Like, Sick. I was kind of annoyed when I saw that. I'm a little annoyed, I can't lie. You're up next, buddy. No shit, dumbass. I'm looking at it. Listen, I'm just trying to make sure everyone is, you know, ready to go. I want this to, you know, I don't want to be here for seven hours drafting a bunch of guys I don't know who their names are. I'm trying to get traditional value advantage right now, and I don't know where to find the best tight end. There's no best tight ends. All right. I wouldn't even draft tight end yet. Wait, Max, can you can you pull Animal? Draft the Joseph. Animal, can you pull this off for me? Hot shot tight end. Animal, animal, can you pull this off for me? What? Sam Mobley. I don't know who that Just, is. I'm asking you to type him in. Sam Mobley, AAF. He's a slot wide receiver. I don't For know which the team? Team he's on. I'm looking. I'm looking. Doesn't matter. I got my pick. I'm gonna take everybody on my line here. Cause Sam got, Mobley is on. What is SL? Doesn't matter. I got Salt my, Lake. I got Salt my, Lake Stallions, baby. Why can't, he's a fucking stallion. Why can't I make my fucking pick? Nick, did, you didn't make your pick. Yeah, you didn't make your pick. Let's go. 
Anybody? Does anybody know where they want to see Antonio Brown next year? By the way, like what team? Yeah. If he's traded out of the AFC, so put him on an NFC team. I don't care which one. Colts. That's who I want to see him with. I honestly like to see him on the Jets, even though it's an AFC team. But he, that guy's a cancer. Yeah, no. Just fucking fuck the Jets up some more. Did you see their their coaching hires? They might have the most volatile locker room they're, with their coaches, the coaching staff. They finally get something right with the quarterback, and they're going to ruin it. They're going to ruin it. That team Listen, is so it, it dumb. It could be extremely explosive, like in a bad way or in a very, very good way where the players are going to be so fired up there's every no week. There's no way that turns First out good. Off the board. Did you take, you did picked you a take? tight end? Yeah, Fuck you, man. Yeah, bro. I'm a fucking stud. Man, this is my number one tight end. On my, on my big board. Fuck. Well, now I'm I don't know. I'm taking Josh Stewart, San Antonio Camarader, com- Commanders. Commanders. Pff, good pick. I know it's a good pick. Well, Tell me to my next pick taste. is gone already, so. God, I, will, I will bury that motherfucker. I will bury him. I will bury him. <laughs> Into the ground and piss on his grave. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> All right, we, we need to get through eight rounds of this bullshit. I think we're through what round? I'm not drafting. A, I'm not drafting a quarterback. No, that Neither was my that Why was my third pick. Quarterback. Why would you when you when you just? I watched not, Christian Hackenberg yesterday. I'm not drafting a quarterback. No, no fucking way. Oh, fucking Travis yeah, Trickster's yeah. guys, guys. Travis Trickster's got the best team. No, I have the best team. And and FCP close. Jared, fucking. There's no such thing as the best team yet. Just yeah, no. wait, you dumbass. Animal, well, you have good. no idea what you're talking about. It's unreal. I know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've never seen someone no less than you. My, Barzacci, Barsavici. All right, what else have we got to talk about? Let's talk some nonsense. <sighs> All right. I'll bring it up. Who do you want to draft in the, in the uh, upcoming draft? We both have top picks. We all have top picks. We don't have. A, I don't have a high enough pick. I think to land either of the guys. I need help on. We need help. I mean, I'm defensively. One of the defensively pressure. for Atlanta. Getting pressure. I want Ed one. Oliver or I want Ed fucking, Oliver. My draft. My drop. He might. He was like the consensus number one going for this year. Yeah. He I might, love Ed. He's got some off field issues. I love. Drop. Good. Perfect. Hot Atlanta. We'll fucking whip him in, in his shape. Perfect for him. It's perfect for him. Ed. Or uh, the the D tackle from Alabama, who he was the one Quentin I. Quentin Williams. He was he the one I. He, he no, he's gonna be like he's number gonna, one pick. He's gonna, he's gonna be, be like number three, three probably. He's gonna be after like his pro day and combine. He's gonna be like top three. He's someone who's gonna test really well. Yeah, yeah. he's gonna be all it's fucked up. He's gonna be the same thing as Hassan. I'm a Hassan's guy. I want one of those I two. I think you're gonna to get him. Huh? I think you're gonna get him. I think so too. I don't see it. Unless it someone me. trades it's up, I don't see any it's teams scared. in front of you. Okay. And honestly, scares me as Giants fan. Scares me. Mike Burst. Fuck, that was who I was going to take next. Big baller took Mike Bursavici, the god at quarterback. The last time the Giants drafted a quarterback in the first round. Yeah, we know. Was 15 years ago. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah Philip Manning. Rivers. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You're right. That's right. <laughs> and we traded. The god. That. We traded that for a guy who won two Super Bowls against the greatest franchise ever. Disagree. Patriots are. Average. What about you? You guys going to take Drew Locke, huh? No, we're not taking quarterback. I think we're going to take... I'm hoping we can get Devin White, the linebacker from LSU, or um, DeAndre Baker, the corner. I, w- I would... Go- See, you know what? From if the Giants trade back a little bit, I would love Devin White. I would love... I think... Giants haven't had a, Giants haven't had a fucking linebacker since goddamn LT was throwing coke off strippers' ass. See, it, it depends what on that? free agency. Cause I've what been that? hearing rumors that we might be getting CJ Mosley. Really? So. Oh, really? That's what you heard? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you hear that from? <laughs> yeah, please tell My me. My sources. Bronco, On the Bron- Broncos Twitter? <laughs> yeah, Twitter. Yeah, Barcelona Twitter. Twitter. The, the non verified Broncos Twitter. That's <laughs> where you heard it from? No, it was from Broncos Beat Reporters. You know what's fun about this draft? Jerk. You know what's Jerk. fun? So, you guys haven't done a dynasty draft yet? Nope. This is what a dynasty draft feels like once you hit like round 22. Like, just get it over. You're like, oh, I've heard of that guy, like, two years ago. Let's draft Let me take him, yeah. That's, like, what, that's what it kind of feels like. Yeah, you'd rather someone just kill you than finish a draft. So this is that, basically, but it starts immediately. As soon as the first pick is on the board, you're like, oh, my God, is this shit over yet? 
I'm actually sick to my stomach about this fucking draft, and we're gonna be there live in person. Dude, it's gonna be sick. If anyone's out there, if anyone's gonna bro, be bro, in I can't. Nashville. I can't. I can't what? I, like, <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I can't. I can't accept another quarterback. I can't. I can't. If, uh, if anyone's gonna be out there in Nashville, April 25th to 27th during the NFL draft weekend, come fuck with the public. Come fuck with the fade the public. Squat. Are, are you gonna cry on camera? You're on the clock. Snacks is crying. You guys know you can um, you go Snacks to the draft is. thing, available players, you can click name, and we'll put them in order, so you can find your guy if you know who it is. Or you can hit control F and type the guy's name in and it pops up on the top oh, left. shit, you fucking smart motherfucker. Yeah. I, I didn't that, even think I'll, of that. I'll be that techie motherfucker. Fade the public's what I'm repping. You stop over there, please. Tell them ninjas quit the bitch and we gonna okay. make it in a second. Plus I'm well connected. You wouldn't fucking know, retard! Oh my god. It's gonna happen, isn't it? They're gonna dress when you ask and then it's over. It's all over after that. Why are you like so bummed about this? It's not like a bad thing. So when Izzy gets drunk, he starts crying about the Giants. <laughs> He's legitimately crying. Sad, bro. You're fucking pathetic. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god, he's <laughs> actually crying. The pussy. <laughs> you shut the fuck up. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I will say one thing. You are uh, the definition of a diehard fan. So, I'll give you that. But, no fucking tears in my house, please. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, stop crying. <laughs> You're such a so loser. pathetic. Get a picture of his stupid crying face. We'll just add it. We'll add it to the. Um... I see. <laughs> what a clown. Okay. Get a close up of that face. You're fucking pathetic. I know. I know. I can't. I can't, I can't accept it yet. I can't. What can't you accept? Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> Alright, like, where's this draft going? Yo, Danny Lads is on the clock. He's been on the clock for a half hour. We're gonna have to, uh, pick right. this up here. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. No one gives a shit. I don't, yeah, I know. Alright, so you want a linebacker, cornerback, you, who do you want? Who I want? Are you gonna fucking say Haskins now after you just cried <laughs> about getting us. him? Yeah, yeah. You're a fucking piece of I shit. I want Dwayne Haskins. I think he Mold is. Here. I think he's a molded quarterback and can do everything we want to. And he grew up a Giants fan, so why well, wouldn't so I maybe want he him. wants to be there too? However, how yeah, he does, he does. I like I, that. You know I, why? I don't accept. I, I don't expect people shit. to work for shit. me unless they've been uh, branded in for like, unless they tell me some shit like I've been following you on YouTube for two years. I'm like, all right, you understand the brand. Right. Otherwise, yeah, I don't so want you, you know, to Dwayne I Haskins, hire a random... Dwayne yeah. Haskins has been tagging like OBJ and shit. He's like, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Blah, 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 blah. It's going to be fantastic when they don't pick him. Well, of course not. They they're they're going to skip right over. Kyler the God. But I'm not going to be mad if they don't pick him. I'm not. Because I don't think he's like this God sent. He's not like a can't lesson. miss guy. Exactly. I, I think he's, I, I do think he's gonna be good though. I so he's like Big Ben. He could be Big Ben. I see him That's as a guy you have good to arm. Have. Put a good team. Was it you I was talking about? Yeah. We, yeah, yeah. We're so, I see Big Ben. I see Big Ben. I like Big Ben there. Yeah. You give me Big Ben for the next twenty years, I'd suck cock. Oof. I said that out loud. But yeah, <laughs> I said that out loud. Hey, listen, man. You, you do. <laughs> That's what you gonna play. Do. That's gonna be so good. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it's true. I. I I don't think they're going to do it because the Giants are they're the Giants and we have Eli and Eli will always be our quarterback no matter what. When I'm 47. True. Not true at all. When I'm 47, I'm 25 now. When I'm 47, Eli will still be our quarterback. doesn't matter. As long as you draft a running back in the second overall pick. <laughs> you know, fucking idiots that you are. Love it. But I think now's the time. Dwayne Haskins is my guy. That's who I'm, I'm locked in on. FTP right. Jarrett. That's it. Clock. Terry yeah, Allen, Falston, Jaquan Gardner, Charles. Jo I know Charles Johnson. He was a wide receiver for. Oh, the so Charles Johnson, that's my next pick. He was a wide receiver for the Vikings. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Not better than that, Dylan. That's my next pick. Uh, I also want to give an update. We're starting a dynasty startup league. Ooh, 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 ooh. For fade the public, if you, I can't imagine there is more than like six people watching up to this point <laughs> still in this video. <laughs> but. 
Dude, oh man, I like Charles Johnson a lot. Fuck. That's what I was my next pick. Yeah, he was a stud. Oh, we are really into this. This is unbelievable. Yeah. I did my research. We're doing the Dynasty Startup Draft. Last place has to... After the NFL Draft, draft hit, happens, so. and we're opening up either seven TPD, seven or nine spots in the draft for subscribers. We will let you know on how to get in, how to enter, but I just want to keep that on your radar so you will have to watch Fade the Public. So one forward. day when that tweet comes out and says... Uh, yeah. Oh, we actually talked about this like last time because I remember we were like, you have to watch every second of it because we're just going to say it for yeah. two seconds really quickly. Yeah, exactly. that's it. Keep an eye on the tweets and uh, and, and, the, and the episode and see when it, when it pops up. We're going to be all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. Everywhere. Uh, some other Dinich cleanings or whatever the fuck we call it. <laughs> we have to change that. I can't... No, we don't. I thought the no, dungeon sweepings was good. I thought dungeon sweepings were way house keep, better than... Housekeeping, than dungeon sweepings. Anything involved. Uh, I'm going to Florida in two weeks from a Friday to a Thursday, so I won't be here for one of those weeks. Uh, uh, well, I don't know if you want to... I don't know if you want to... before you leave or something? If you want to film like a Monday and a Thursday. I would actually love to see how it turned out if I left you two fucking assholes. We'd never even get to do that. By the way, I am so <laughs> pissed off that that, we would film a whole episode that, no Cole, audio. that Stone Cold video didn't get in there. Oh yeah, the last episode we did... That's the greatest did, video ever. Last episode we did, we put... Uh, we finished, Scott One finished beer. editing everything. And we were in the segment that was like top our top party athletes who we'd like to party with. And Snacks put up uh, a video or had a song going or something that when we finish editing, you upload it to YouTube, and then once you upload it and everything and it processes, like 10 minutes later, if you had any copyright infringements in the video, it'll tell you that you had it. So, uh, so it came back that basically the best part of the fucking episode was copyright, the whole Stone Cold Steve Austin <laughs> section. The whole thing. So we had to re-fucking, we had to delete it and re-upload it, so you guys missed out on the GOAT, the GOAT part of that video. I mean, it's, it's easily obtainable if you just go to to YouTube and type in Stone Cold Steve Austin tequila what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Huh? It's a tequila. Where's Petey Lakes, man? That, that's my dude. Petey Lakes. Oh, he wrote in the fucking thing. Yeah, I was sitting on the train today crying. Literally crying. You just cried all day today, huh? I've been dude, crying. How many times you cry today? I cried more today than I'm an emotional cried. fucking dude, man. I don't know what to tell you. Like that whole Eli shit, that, that was not right. That was not sport upon me. You guys did that and... I sat here like a man and I took it. You I literally are the one who brought up the whole topic of who would you guys want on your NFL I team. Know, I just then it got to your round, then it got to you yeah. and you started crying. And you are like, we might take Dwayne Haskins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eli's my boy. Shut the fuck up, Max. <laughs> Eli's See, bro, I got pictures, it's on video, the whole world's in the Mitchell state. Trubisky and Jack Goff, never forget. Yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to hear another fucking word. Some of my business. I had like a fucking snub nose in this crowd. I'm honestly fucking so over this draft. I have three fucking studs that are, are basically weak winning every every week. We gotta uh, pick it up a little bit here. Santavius wrong. Jones, fourth round. He's a legit guy. No, Big ball. Not. Why are they taking no so long? Winning. First of all, why are they taking so long to draft? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea who they're picking. Yeah, I guess at this point I haven't heard of like half the names. I still know exactly who I'm picking next. I know we're we're just playing for pride, but can we like do something like a uh, winner gets like a. BDG shirt yeah, or some we'll, shit. We'll, we'll send out. We we'll gotta send out some, some sweatshirts. I could some, use some yeah. new shirts. We'll put a fade in the public. When do our sweatshirts come in? It's, it's gotta be within the next couple of days. I, I don't care. 20 to yeah. 28 business days. Are we cutting those sleeves or are we using them? That's up to you as your sweatshirt. I think I might order another one so I can cut one. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a hundo fucking cutting yeah. this one. <laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to fade snack teams the public on the clock. Let's go! Let's go. Let's take. Right, Copy that Leslie like Jordan, that great pick, really good pick. Justin Crawford. <laughs> oh, solid pick. Who that? It's a guy. <laughs> it's a guy. It's a guy. Say, no, say no more. Justin Crawford has been picked by Nikki Snacks. Well, I feel like we sh we should be able to pick it up soon. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you What do you mean? <laughs> Listen, I have basically my team already go all the way. Me too. Rounds. I'm good. I got right. my big board through two. So what? I got my two. Okay, you do. Okay. Okay. Who is me? You. Me? Yeah, you. Me? Yeah, no. Who? This no. Who's Justin Crawford? That's the guy that he took. Yeah. Who is it? What position? <laughs> what position? Uh, is he? You stocking up on running backs? I think he's a receiver. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know. He tries to score touchdowns every game, so you know. That's I want position players. 
He's a flex spot. There you go. I feel like Gower Gilbert was such a good move. That was the greatest pick in fantasy that football so history. Good. I feel like every team puts up 10 points, and their team put up like 50, and he's the only one. Yeah, he put up like 27 fantasy points. Did anyone take uh, Logan Woodside? I don't know. He's a quarterback. It wasn't yeah, me. I know. I watched him, and I was like really fucking pumped up. I was going to tweet, someone give this motherfucker a contract. He is taken. He is? Yeah, he's done. <sighs> I was going to say, if no one gave him a contract, I was going to. Don't fucking lie to me. He's fucking on the board. I just picked him, you cunt. He's not on my board, dude. Make a pick for the side. Oh, I'm looking at it's, it's do, first uh, name. It's first do, name. It's do Logan it. L. Logan. My bad, bro. I, just I, wasn't took, lying. I took him because. Oh, we have flex spots open, too. Fuck, I shouldn't have taken a quarterback yet. You should have definitely taken a quarterback because there's not going to be any left. There's eight teams. Tell me, bro. If I, get, guys are gonna if be, I get Hackenberg, I'm not playing in the league. It's fine. It's easy dose for everyone. <laughs> Did I smell your shit? Did you, <laughs> did you, did you shit or did you did fart? You, did you take crack before this episode? <laughs> hey, what happened, dude? Who were you who was sitting next to on the train? It was, it was the whole Eli thing that threw me off. I don't think so. I think you were in you it You totally then. threw yourself off with that one. I, I think you were all like weird before then. I've been thinking a lot about it. some business. Blown shit, like, Think a lot about what? Giants draft a quarterback. Like, that's just, Eli's been more quarterback since I was, what? Dude, shut up. Ten years old. Fuck up. No, you have no idea, Nick. You have no fucking idea. Because your team blows. I've never, I've never, it, it's not you, a sport. Your team the way you look at Eli Manning no. is the way I think of, like, my uh, relative. Yeah. So you're going <laughs> to, so I don't care. Oh, on the clock. So don't tell me I have no if idea. If it was Eli or any, my brother, I would kill no my brother this before, I, guy. before I killed Eli. Trev's tricksters just took my motherfucking pick. Do you not you understand? You said that every fucking pick. Do you not understand every pick that? for every draft. Do you not understand that? What I thought. Were you saying something? Yeah. Oh, my bad. I wasn't listening. Your team blows a 28-3 point lead in the Super Bowl to the team that I beat twice. Your point? Yeah, it is a good point. <laughs> what was your point? That was it. What was the... Like, you don't understand emotional attachment. <laughs> because I, the only person you're emotionally attached to is the quarterback of the team you root for. Well, that's all I got left. <laughs> Happy my pretty motherfucker. Trev's, tri Trev's trickster's on the clock. Let's go, Trevy Trio. Round five of ten. Got Holy it, shit, we gotta. This sucks. All right, so we're gonna cut out the camera right now. We're four rounds in. I I basically already locked up the league with my four picks. So disagree. So we're gonna do the rest of the draft. This is taking like seventeen hours, and I honestly don't even know what we've said so far. What happened? I blacked out. I don't no, remember like a thing we've talked about. Couldn't, I couldn't even. We talked about Nick Chubb and Cream Hunt. That was yeah, that we yeah, talked about Nick Chubb, and Cream Hunt. You cried yeah, for a long Hunt. time, yeah. and that was all I remember. So we're gonna cut the video for now, and then we're gonna recap the draft afterwards. That's such bullshit. All right, it's two hours late, Dale, and we're about to wrap up. <laughs> the SpongeBob. Yeah. We're about to wrap up the draft. It's round 10. It took so fucking long. What, much the, longer than I thought. We're at the part of the draft. Yeah, if any of you guys have ever participated in a dynasty league, that's like 28 rounds the draft by the time you get to round like 22 or 24 you want to kill yourself and you don't know any of the players on the list or you're just drafting guys that you might have heard of one time like two weeks ago uh that's like where we're at but that's like how this draft started that was like how the draft from start to finish yeah, yeah the no first three who... picks were like guys you might have heard of and then after that it's like fucking i just drafted daquan hampton great player Great, great guy. A lot of heard, upside. Heard he was good in high school. Yeah. Well. Now, we're drafting, like, I'm pretty sure Snacks drafted a backup quarterback as a starting quarterback, but there's no way to confirm it. Like, we don't have a, a website to no look at. I have no idea who Max Shortell is. I hope he's a starting quarterback. He's, if he's he's, not. I did not hear his name once in any of the games I watched. All right, so anyways, yeah, a AAF uh, Fantasy Draft is in the books. We'll keep you all updated on that. If you all have any questions uh, otherwise about fantasy, let us know what kind of uh, content you want to see going forward uh, in terms of fantasy whether it's more mock drafts or rankings or just like debates like give us uh give us some things to fucking yeah, yell at each other in the comments drop some whole off to cover. yeah we got weeks and weeks and weeks we'll, we'll cover the nfl draft and rookies when it gets closer to that time and we'll be there. hell yeah oh is you're not even talking to the microphone idiot <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there <laughs> so that's gonna wrap up the uh video uh, thank uh, you one, one thing one thing first one yeah. thing first how those goldfish you eating buddy uh, any oh, yeah. of you know, uh, I ate his goldfish, and I was nice enough to go out and buy him some more. Eat some for us. Tell, him, tell us how they taste. We're developing into a true team. How good are those flavor blasted? Are they flavor blasted? We're fucking good. Guess what? Oh. They're extra cheddar. 
I switched it with the whole grain. You put the whole grain in there. You've been eating the whole grain this whole time. That's right. Hell yeah. Sorry, buddy. Just, that's amazing. You said that the whole grain was shit, and I, you know, you didn't even notice. It's a mental thing. Fucking fraud. Look at snacks, him. Dude, you baby. just started him on his health kick. Now he likes whole grain. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. Kristen, that was for you. That's incredible. Help, helping your mans out. Wow, good fucking move, animal. Don't leave me fucking hanging, you cunt. <laughs> Incredible. All right, so we're going to leave you with that. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. And we're going to turn the thing off before uh, Snacks kills Animal. Fight! Oh, you can...